So what we've got here is an interesting scenario that will show how customers can leverage the power of big data using EMC technologies like Greenplum Unified Analytics Platform, or UAP, uh, running on Isilon, which can natively support HDFS. Really neat use case. The example here is that uh, you can see that we are trying to find some insight in terms of how customers are using uh, a corporate website to order and ship packages. Uh, this is basically uh, uh, the log, uh, the data coming in of how clients are connecting to uh, the Tomcat or TC server, which is uh, part of uh, the VMware vFabric family of tools. And you can see that uh, clients are coming in via all sorts of different devices, um, and we're gathering just huge, huge volumes of data about uh, people interacting with the website. Now, to get some insight from that, I'm going to log into Greenplum Chorus. So as I log in, um, Chorus is a simple and easy part of the uh, Greenplum Unified Analytics Platform where not only can you uh, do the traditional idea of structured uh, data analytics using uh, the Greenplum database, leader in, in massively parallel scale-out um, uh, analytics platforms against structured data, but also Greenplum Hadoop, um, uh, Greenplum HD, which is the leader in the enterprise uh, Hadoop distributions around uh, unstructured data. But uh, Greenplum Chorus adds a critical element of collaboration, uh, where people can collaborate uh, as data scientists to go from uh, the source of big data through uh, analytics to really get to insight. And uh, as an example here, you know, as even if I'm not a data scientist or not an expert, I can uh, post a, 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 you know, a question here, right, that says, hey, look, it'd be great to get a relationship between the end users and what mobile uh, access devices that they're using. And uh, you can see here that my uh, colleague has said, hey, look, let's get the data on phone versus iPad. Now, I don't know the answer on how to do this, but uh, this guy here, Albert Feinstein, has said, hey, look, I've de uh, developed a query uh, that uh, you might be able to use. And you can see that this is interactive. It's got a Facebook-like uh, uh, look and feel. Uh, you can see and collaborate and share uh, uh, both uh, queries as well as workspaces and huge amounts of data, um, uh, which normally is a huge problem. I mean, how do you... How do you pass around uh, huge amounts of data so that people can collaborate to get to collective insight? Now, if I uh, click on the warnings, you can see here that Albert Feinstein has added me to this workspace. So if I click on it, you can see, hey, look, here's the query that he's uh, provided. I can take this and I can say, run the query in the sandbox environment that's there available. So I can very quickly see, hey, look, against that data, here's what we've got in terms of... Uh, uh, you know, time and which users connect via uh, multiple different devices. I can uh, export this data, and uh, as part of that export, you know, I could even do various other tasks, such as doing a visualization. So very rapidly, um, what you're able to leverage is the Greenplum Unified Analytics Platform to rapidly go from huge volumes of big data uh, through to uh, having a question and then collaborating with other data scientists and quickly getting to an insight. Now, the thing that's particularly interesting about this example is it also highlights the power of the integrated EMC solutions. This, in particular, was a, a, a Greenplum uh, HD, a Greenplum Hadoop uh, um, analysis that we were doing. And uh, during the example, we actually had a, a, a major component failure. Now, Hadoop itself is a distributed process, but the underlying HDFS uh, model does have uh, challenges both in terms of data import, export, and also availability at scale. Now, if you're using um, EMC Isilon, um, what you're able to do is you're actually able to uh, take a look at leveraging the uh, Isilon architecture, which is a scale-out architecture and has a distributed name node, node function in the HDFS world that you can simply take a single file system which can be distributed across many nodes simultaneously export it as NFS and HDFS which makes it very easy to get uh, data both in and out so those huge volumes of data that we're using for analytics but also means that even as nodes fail um, uh, it's completely transparent to the, uh, uh, the Hadoop environment and uh, you can see that the workload is very evenly distributed across all the nodes. Yes, one node failed during this test, 
but it's transparent to the overlying application. And through Isilon's native architectural simplicity for scale out, uh, the workload is very high bandwidth, very distributed, and doesn't have any single point of failure, uh, whether it's a name node or any other function. Pretty cool.